Hi again, folks. Here we are. Um, oh, she's giving me a kiss already. Um, here's Maya. She's come to uh, to visit. We've been talking for a little while, just to boost up our uh, relationship, as in like friendship and well, basically romantic <laughs> relationship. And so, uh, yeah, look, I was gonna say, oh, he's very focused. Uh, like I was saying before in the previous video, that uh, Matt and I shall be uh, doing stuff. Oh, well, she's uh, embracing me now. Well, I don't mind that at all because it's all part of what we're going to do. And here comes. Uh, Zoe again, well she can basically go away because uh, I'm not interested actually because I'm going to be doing this. Oh, uh, I mentioned before uh, there was an update. One thing they haven't updated is the darkness of Sims while inside. That's still something that needs fixing because when Sims are inside, they are, for some reason, they go dark despite the amount of light you put in that room. If you know what I mean. Because I don't know what it is, it's obviously a design flaw. Um, but for some reason, it doesn't matter how many lights you have in a room, Sims will always be dark. And the reason I've just gone into build mode is because it's oh, I've just remembered something. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to put the walls up. Um, I want to put that light uh, there. That will help to light up uh, this bit. Uh, the thing is now, I I have an extra light here. Uh, I think if I bring this back over to there, then I can put that light there above the TV. And this is a good thing that I like, is the fact you can sort of put the camera overhead whereas in previous sims you couldn't do like a top down view like this uh, you would have to like select top down view or something like that you couldn't actually like go into it yourself if you know what I mean um, right so I just uh, for some reason thinking of light and I thought ah hang on I need to uh, oh plus Hold on again. Let me uh, put that there. Which gives me a little hiccup. And we'll put that there. Because those were paintings. Actually, I think I will sell that. And I will. I shall sell that. And if we go into my inventory um, I know this might uh, yeah, it might not be the best of pictures it's uh, oh it's not even a picture <laughs> it's a rug uh, oh oh it is this rug brings them on oh okay I didn't I didn't realize it was a rug so what's this one that's a super eco rug. Okay, so actually let's sell that. That came with the room. This is what I said. Don't waste your money buying the rooms because you end up getting rid of a load of the crap anyway. And, to, uh, and put your own stuff in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, you, you can save quite a bit of money not buying the rooms. I mean... You can then put in what you want. You can make the rooms as big as you want. Design them in which way you want. Because the fact that the, the rooms come square anyway kind of messes up any design ideas you may have. So you, you're probably better just 
building your own house, like designing it. As in, like, you know, putting the walls up yourself, doing it how you want. Um, now, I'm sure that not long ago, uh, let's go back into live now because I'm finished with that now. Let's put the walls down. Uh, let me have a look in the inventory. Aha! Cell block. Uh, what's this? Look at the precision fit of these bright cells. Blah, 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 blah. Building blocks of life. Oh, yeah, I've got a feeling she was going to go. I'm going to have to leave what I had planned until a bit later. But I want to show you something first. Uh, one thing I didn't do in the previous video was show you a bit more of the, the new updates, which I didn't notice. So, for now, let me just... <laughs> give you a little update about uh, my inventory. This was something um, he went and, oh, well in fact he's there now, he did stuff on the uh, the microscope and he discovered this, whatever it is. Uh, so, uh, when I click on it and it like, does nothing, so I'm guessing it's it's similar. It it would be like that that you could put that on the wall. It's uh, that was another thing. I've got new plumbing upgrades. Uh, my handiness uh, upgraded because the fridge broke and I had to fix the fridge. And uh, and oh, he's there. Well, right, well, you there? Can you clean that, please. <laughs> um. This is the thing, this flavourise, I'm guessing that means if you cook something while it's flavourised. Uh, then I'm going to cook some chilli while it's inspired, I don't I think it will probably turn out a lot better. I don't know. Uh, why was he just standing by the toilet when he obviously needs the toilet? He needs to go. Oh, well, he can go in a moment. Um, yeah, handiness upgraded. I can now, well, if I repair something and like, use scavenge for parts, I can now possibly find electric, electric or electronic parts or something. So, oh, there's that. Oh, jeez. Zoe, go away. Crying out loud, woman! Stop it! Actually, she's changed the clothes again. She's back into that yellow dress. Rather than that yellow top with the pink purple trousers. Is that all you did, Zoe? Go home and change? Who cares? Anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm not sure exactly... Uh, let's, uh, let's just have a look at my phone. Um, oh, oh, no. Uh, one thing I don't think you can do is... I, I, can you buy clouds? Uh, I, I, I'm actually not sure if you... Because there are no shops. Is it, am I right in saying that there are no shops to buy clothes from? What Flabadar, what do you want? What are you going to do? Have you walked outside to pee yourself? Why have you come outside? If you want the toilet, go onto the toilet. Don't walk outside and get my attention. <laughs> I really don't know why you would do that. Look, your, your bladder needs emptying. Go empty it. And walk outside and go. <laughs> Right, okay. So, 
Um, I don't try on outfits. Okay, let, let's, let's try that. You did just, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm <laughs> just just checking if he had. Uh, Yeah, that, that, that's your athletics one. That's your party one. That's your sleepwear. That's your everyday wear. So you pretty much just try it on. Because if I change outfit to party one, that's my uh, geek. Geeky, nerdy, party outfit. Ah, oh, see, his, his glasses are blue as well. I don't know if that's, uh... Basically, in the update, because it's October. Oh, it's Halloween month! So, part of the update is something to do with Halloween. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is... Oh, oh, it's on. Oh, God, a moment. Let's have a look. Oh, jeez, it's broke again. Oh, excuse me, the hiccup again. You have to excuse me for hiccup every now and then. It's because I haven't long had food. <laughs> and because I'm now talking, it kind of... <gasps> right, anyway, so that's broke again. That's, that's one of the most unreliable pieces of crap. Anyway. Uh, computer, computer, yes. Computer? Uh, order Purchase upgrade parts Voodoo doll books seeds mm -hmm. Okay None of those thank you <laughs> What? Voodoo doll um, Households Move or adopt No Play game career career. I'll just find or quit. Um, web. Uh, watch a gaming live stream. Research art. Browse Wikipedia. No. Socialize. Chat. Chat with. Find a pen pal. Troll fair forum. Send a chain letter. No. So, uh, as far as I can tell, uh, if we just go into that and travel, because basically, as soon as you go into travel, the thing will come up. Right, here we are on the uh, the world map thing. Travelling with? No, I'm not travelling with anyone. Um, now, you have the park. Obviously you can't buy anything from there. You have a bar that you buy drinks from. A gym where you work out. A lounge where you can get drinks again. A museum where you can't buy anything. Uh, obviously those people's homes. In what's the place called? Uh, Willow Creek. You have pretty much the same thing: a museum, a nightclub, a gym, and a library. So at the moment, there's nowhere to buy clothes. Okay, and we're back. Um, right, there was a slow problem. Um, the game stopped working <laughs> while I was uh, uh, reading stuff uh, about the update. Anyway, with the update, uh, it basically brings ghosts into the game. Um, if an NPC or non-playable character dies, uh, 
it, it, it's usually a case like it was in previous sims um, oh and as you may be able to see there um, it didn't save so this is a previous save from not too long ago I haven't lost a lot um, as you can see the old rugs back there <laughs> so I, I will have to do um, some stuff that I had uh, that I've done before, but it's nothing too out of the way, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so basically, yeah, uh, but it did give me a chance. Oh, yeah, the ghost. Sorry, if uh, a non playable character dies, they can come back as a ghost. Uh, and what I'm guessing is, like I was saying with the previous one, where they died, a tombstone would be, and that would be kind of like, I guess, where they live, if you know what I mean. But you can still interact, you can still become friends, you can actually marry them, or at least, like, they can get married, I'm not sure. I guess your character could get married to, you know, your sim could marry a ghost. <clears throat> Why? It's just something that's a bit ridiculous, really, and what we didn't really ask for, I think. Unless somebody did ask for it and they have done that, I don't know. But that was one of the updates. One of the other updates, if I uh, unpause it, uh, let us go. Uh, that's the reason uh, I'm sort of in my underwear or sleepwear. If I go and change into my party outfit, Uh, you will see what was included in the update. Uh, apparently, it's just this is like just one of like two more updates. That there's one coming in November. And, oh, <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> Look, I am your father. Yep, there we go. There is one of the. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Just... Now, just come, come outside because it's too dark in there and you won't be able to see properly. So there we go. If we uh, pause the game, let's zoom in. Oh, ah. <laughs> um. He's still wearing uh, <laughs> the footwear. I'm not sure. I think you can get the footwear. I'm not sure. I mean, it is just a costume. It's not like, you know, an official type thing. It's uh, This is part of the Halloween thing. I mean, you know. Uh, this is one of the Halloween costumes. The other one was uh, a Luke Skywalker one in uh, the Red 5 costume. If you know Star Wars, you'll know which what costume I mean. And apparently there was a, a Yoda one as well. And I'm not sure, but there seemed to be another one. And I'm not exactly sure if it was like a cowboy outfit or something. Because it was sort of like brown leathers and like, like, like jeans and stuff. I don't know, I didn't really... Uh, I, I don't think that was part of the update, but this one is. It's... Uh, your old Vader there. Um, <laughs> as I say, I, I, I'm not sure if there was footwear. I, I can't remember. I, I, one thing I forgot to look for because I thought, all oh, right, I've just got the costume. Uh, what about the hat? Could, because that comes under hats. If you uh, if, if you're in the creator scene. Also, it gave me a chance to delete about like the four other. Flabadars that I've got in there because for some reason when I created my sim it decided to make about like four copies of it which yeah is a bit stupid so anyway yeah there's uh, there's a, obviously it's better to select it as a party outfit because but unless you want to change it to to whichever one which yeah, every day. 
outfit. Oh, which one did I change? I also changed my athletic uh, outfit because no, my other one was a bit crap basically. I didn't, I didn't really like it much. So let's bring him out to do a bit of boxing, and uh, and you'll see the difference. Yeah, before it was uh, some dulled top. Um, <laughs> Those short shorts were a bit uh, too short, so I just wanted to change it up a bit. Uh, this sort of Space Invader type yellow t-shirt there with the red shorts and black trim. Uh, and yeah, so that's my uh, new sporty athletic outfit. Um, but that's it. Uh, I do apologise, I know I said I was going to be doing stuff with Maya in this episode but it's all turned out to be more about update stuff and whatever and to keep things short uh, I'm going to have to sort of end it here for now um, but what I will do is I will record another bit after this where I will get to do things with me. I will actually go on a date, on a proper date, like not just travel with somewhere. I will take her on a proper date, I will go through things that you have to do on a date, because I've seen something about it, so, um, I mean if it's going to be similar to previous Sims, such as The Sims 2, where I've gone on a date, you have to kind of do certain criteria to get like a, a good date or a, a bad date you know if you don't fulfill certain things you get a bad date but if you fulfill things and it becomes a great date then you have a great date anyway so i'll be doing that in the next one uh but for now uh i will thank you very much for watching if you have got this far <laughs> do apologize if it hasn't been what you expected uh I will, as I say, hopefully be doing more interesting things in the next one as I uh, take Maya on a date and we, uh, yeah, actually do things like I promised we would in this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like it if you've liked what you've seen and uh, feel free to subscribe for more. But for now... <laughs> I shall bid you adieu and bye!